Cthulhu is a cosmic creature that emerged from the deepest horrors. His story starts in a time before our understanding, in a dark and unexplored abyss of space, inhabited by ancient gods, monsters, and unspeakable terror. Behold Cthulhu, god of the depths, devourer of souls, the living nightmare. Legend tells us that Cthulhu is one of the great old ones, ancient cosmic creatures with inconceivable power who inhabited the Earth long before mankind. He and his brethren arrived on Earth from outer space, each bringing their own domain and creatures. Cthulhu, the most terrible, chose the ocean, inhabiting the lost city of Ryla. Ryla, a desolate city built on unfathomable edges and non-Euclidean geometries, is the lair of Cthulhu's eternal sleep, a waking dream where nightmares have tangible forms, where the agonized cries morph into the ceaseless melody of the howling wind and the sighs of the maddened are the only possible company. Cthulhu is a monstrosity beyond human comprehension, a grotesque enigma with repulsive forms and gruesome details. The closest description of his appearance, according to Lovecraft's manuscripts, depicts him as a colossal creature with vaguely anthropomorphic features, but with a slimy mass of undulating tentacles where there should be a human face. His body is covered in scaly, slimy, fish-like skin with the membranous wings of a bat. Despite being gigantic, Cthulhu has surprising agility, moving with a monstrous subtlety that defies logic and physics. Cthulhu is ultimately omnipotent, he has strength, endurance, and power far beyond human comprehension. His greatest might, however, is the ability to influence the human mind. Cthulhu can entrench himself in the thoughts of those he wants, whispering madness and triggering nightmares. His very presence is enough to drive men to lunacy. His voice is like a chorus of mournful mutterings, promising undreamed of terror. Cthulhu mythology is vast and complex. There is a sprawling web of stories and legends about a time when the Great Old Ones ruled the Earth. But the domination of these beings was not peaceful. They fought each other for millennia in the Ancestral War. It was an era of cosmic conflict and apocalyptic battles between the ancient deities, including Cthulhu, and the Old Gods. In this titanic clash, the fabric of space-time was torn and distorted. Each clash between the colossal beings nearly terminated the very core of the universe itself. During the ancient war, the Great Old Ones, including Cthulhu, bred cosmic abominations to be used as weapons of war. These beings, often described as Cthulhu Mythos, were sheer monstrosities exceeding the limits of human comprehension. Among the most monstrous creatures are the Shogoths, amorphous entities capable of assuming any form, with gooey bodies covered in eyes. They were created to be used as slaves, but eventually rose up. Shogoths have immeasurable power, the mere sight of which can drive any human mad. The Mygos are another terrifying species that emerged during the ancient war. They are fungal, winged creatures with origins in an advanced extraterrestrial civilization and the ability to travel through outer space. The Mygos manipulate biology and genetics to create unspeakable monsters capable of joining their offensive against the Great Old Ones. And there are also creatures that directly serve Cthulhu, known as the Deep Ones. They are hybrid beings, part human, part fish, and part amphibian, residing deep in the Earth's oceans. The Deep Ones worship Cthulhu, being his emissaries or priests, during the ancient war, they were used as soldiers and warriors, fighting fiercely in the name of their master. The ancient war was a catastrophic event, filled with horrors and monsters beyond human comprehension. The shadow of this conflict still hangs over Lovecraft's universe, and the echoes of the battles still resonate in the stars and depths of the Earth. Following the conflict, Cthulhu and his great old brothers were forced to slumber, waiting in the dark abyssal depths for the Day of Awakening. Ancient war shaped the Earth and the cosmos as we know them today, with marks that endure to this moment. 
They await the day when the stars will align again and the war will resurface. After the disappearance of the cosmic creatures, the cult of Cthulhu arose in multiple parts of the world. It is a dark bond that unites the forgotten depths of civilization with contemporary society. Cthulhu worshippers are often portrayed as outcasts, from native peoples on remote Pacific islands to members of secret societies in modern cities. All have a desire to awaken Cthulhu from his deep sleep in Ryla, awaiting the moment when the stars will be right so that their god can once again rule the earth. These cultists practice terrible and unmentionable rituals involving human sacrifices, inhuman chanting and delirious dancing in a tribute to their alien lord. The rituals often take place at night, away from the eyes of the innocent, evoking a dreadful and terrifying atmosphere. The most frightening thing is that these cultists are utterly devoted to the cause. They embrace the madness and desolation that Cthulhu represents, wishing for the complete annihilation of the established order and the rise of a new realm under Cthulhu's rule. But perhaps the most disturbing issue with Cthulhu worship is the true insignificance of humanity. Cultists see the awakening of Cthulhu as an inevitability, a simple matter of time. These cults are a warped reflection of our society, showing us what can happen when we turn to the abyss and allow it to swallow us. This personifies our worst nightmares and fears. They believe that when the stars align in a certain way, the lost city of Ryla will emerge from the depths of the ocean and Cthulhu will awaken. On this day, humanity will plunge into madness and despair and Cthulhu will reign once more. In this scenario, humanity is merely a grain of sand in the vastness of the cosmos, insignificant and inconsequential to these divine and horrible beings. The presence of Cthulhu and his brethren is a grim reminder of our insignificance. His awakening is a constant threat that hangs over our heads like the sword of Damocles. This is the legend of Cthulhu, a nightmare that dwells in the murky depths of the ocean and the deepest corners of our minds. A cosmic creature, purveyor of unspeakable terror, it represents the unknown and the uncharted. Cthulhu is the mirror that reflects our deepest fears, the embodiment of our insecurities in the face of the overwhelming and merciless universe. No matter how high we build our monuments or how far our space explorations take us, there will always be abyss beyond our comprehension, a dark and unfathomable void where monsters like Cthulhu dwell. He is the creature under the bed and the demon inside the closet, the shadow moving in the darkness and the whisper we hear in the wind. He is Cthulhu, the devourer of souls, the unending nightmare. His story reminds us that there are terrors in the universe beyond our comprehension. Lovecraft invites us to plunge into the abyss, to face the unknown and confront our deepest fears. As frightening as the universe is, he shows us that there is beauty and wonder in it. Perhaps that's the real terror of Cthulhu. The idea that, ultimately, we are the ones who create our monsters.